basics. Uh, we are in our science lesson, welcome, and today we are looking at uh, the circulatory system and learning about the heart and the blood vessels and the blood. Now last week we did a little bit of this and you were showing me what you already knew and you made a really good start. So today we are going to learn a little bit more about it. So I'm going to show you my screen and introduce what it is that you're doing in the lesson. Okay, have a great lesson year six. I will uh, speak to you in like literally two seconds. Bye. Uh, if you click on the link at the bottom of the little information box, you will get to this uh, PDF. Now, it says uh, our learning objective, which is to identify, name, and describe the main parts of the circulatory system. I don't know why it's putting in little gaps here. There isn't a gap there, so I don't know why it's done it. I'm sorry, we just have to cover it now. If you've not watched the video, then watch it. You're watching it now, so you're fine. Now, last week, uh, we started to do little diagrams to show me what you already know. And I was actually really impressed with what most of us already knew. We knew a lot of stuff. So I skipped out a couple of lessons that was going to and we're going to get straight into this. So we are going to click on this website and we're going to watch some different uh, videos and visit different pages to help us learn more about the circulatory system. I'm going to click on that in a minute. But let's think about what our task is first. So your task is to draw a more detailed diagram of the circulatory system than what you did last week. So I want to know what goes on in the heart, the brain, the lungs, and what's going on in the blood vessels. So I want you to use as much scientific vocabulary as you can to describe what's happening at different parts of the system. If you need to write some short paragraphs to write a diagram and please do, give as much detail as you can, and don't just copy information from the internet. So what I would do is in the middle of your page, draw a diagram that looks something a little bit like this and then really detailed labels. So at, after each of these, I'm not expecting to just see you write the brain. Okay, you might write the brain there, but then if you're gonna write a paragraph below the diagram explaining what the brain, or how the brain relates to all of this, then you can do. The heart, I'm looking for quite a lot of detail describing what's going on in the heart. Is it just one big thing or is it other things going in with it? What have the lungs got to do with our circulatory system? I'll give you a quick. It's got oxygen to do with it. And uh, what about the blood vessels? For all of these things that carry the blood around, what can you tell me about those? What information is there to know about that? So I'm not looking for, I'm looking for something much more detailed than last week. I'm not looking for if you write in like the brain, the lungs, the heart, and the blood vessels, because we know that. What I want you to do is find more. And to help you find more, I'm gonna click on this link here. Uh, you can allow it if it asks you, because uh, I've checked it and I know it's safe. Oh. I've got a minute. Right, that's not taking me to the right link. I'll make sure that it does before I put it online. But it will take you to here, okay? Now, uh, when you get to this plate, you've got kind of four learner guides. You've got some information about the circulatory system, what is it that's in your blood, what are the blood vessels, and how does your heart work? And each of these gives you lots of information, so that's why I'm saying in your diagram, I'm looking for lots of information. So as you click on these, uh, there are videos to watch, where it describes what's going on, you've got information, you've got little quizzes to do, uh, and there's stuff like that for each of the different sections. So you should be able to learn lots about these different things. Again, it starts off with a little video, then we've got a bit of information about it, and we've got a little quiz. Okay, so what I want to see in your work is like I say, a little diagram of this, but then with lots of detail about the different parts, okay? Or a diagram with a bit of detail and then underneath more detail about what's going on. Okay? So yeah, six, work hard with it. Uh, do something that you look at at the end and think, yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. I think I've done a good job. And I look forward to seeing it in your work. I'll sort out that link before I put it online, okay? All right. 